Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have such a spooky, rainy and moody day. The trees are dancing in the wind. It's just the cozy vibes, 3000 and all I would want to do is to stay at home. But you know what? I'm going out and about and want to take a walk. <laughs> is it a great plan? I'm not sure. But I have stuff I need to work on and I want to take you along. So first of all, Yesterday we had a first snow, guys. Can you flip and imagine that? <sighs> the first snow, oh my gosh. I'm not over it yet. <laughs> Actually, since we had a more moody weather lately, I was working on more like cozy activities. For example, I started coloring again in my books. I also started to crochet and I just crocheted a sweater for my baby Bolo because it's getting really chilly and it feels like he's a bit cold outside already. So. I just crocheted him a sweater which I'm so proud of because he looks so cute and sweet in it. I mean I am self-taught crocheter so of course there is like a lot of mistakes and it doesn't look perfect but at the same time it just filled with love. Really proud moment for me. <laughs> but you know what? Enough mumbling about the stuff I have been doing. Let's talk about what we're gonna be doing today. So I have this situation that I have I don't have any kind of shelving in my, like here in the bottom that you can see because I don't have any kind of cabinets and stuff like that and I have a lot of stuff like paints, books and etc. And I noticed a lot of YouTubers being really bragging slash like having good, good comments about um, like racks on the wheels from Ikea's or Amazon's for example. I want to go ahead and look for one in Ikea here in Vilnius and of course since I'm gonna be in Ikea we will go ahead and film a houseplant tour for you there of course because I'm so curious to see what kind of plants Ikea will be having. It's been a while since I was at Ikea. I don't remember the last time I was there. Maybe half a year ago. Maybe last winter. Oh my gosh. No idea. So it's gonna be fun. A little adventure. Also next to that Ikea we have a houseplant store slash big box store. So we might take a little peek in there as well. So it's just gonna be a little hangout video slash vlog of us just doing plenty business. Strolling through Ikea and just having a little bit of fun with my fiance. So join us and let's go. Calm down, baby, it's all alright I'm gonna run past tonight Dry your eyes on me, don't cry We are at the plant section and actually the shelves are filled to the brim so it's <gasps> begonias rexes oh my gosh isn't that a spooky vibe oh what a lovely color and this one is for five euros look at all those colors guys wow so shiny definitely halloween stuff look at those beautiful calatias for oh sorry tonantes for 650 Wow, these are beautiful. Also so minty, not so green. And the other side, look at how purple they are. So cute, oh my gosh. It looks like there was like a new arrival of plants. Because look at all of those shelves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I also have some cool suck. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot watch when IKEA just put plants so far behind from the light. <sighs> look at those sweet, sweet cacti. Or is it a succulent? Wow, they look so juicy. So juicy. For $3.49. Ooh, this is exciting. Also have some peace lilies for only 4 euros, guys. I mean, it's still a kind of a baby plant. But very exciting. Okay. This one, this one seems like IKEA always have these collages. $5.50. I don't know, I don't see the appeal on these ones, to be honest. More of succulents that are struggling in the darkness. Oh my gosh. Also have some gasterias. Oh, these ones. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, some lucky bamboos slash dracinos for 250. I always am tempted to buy one on Chinese New Year. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this vessel, how cute! So sweet for propagating, only one euro 29 cents. Very awesome. Look at this. Oh, that's an interesting cycle. And this is the Grasula of some kind. Himalaya seed of, oh my gosh. This is actually awesome. The color is so dark green. Wow. Okay, this one is interesting. I'm not sure how much it costs. Okay, from that side, we have more interesting stuff. Look at these ones. They almost look like they're frosted. Wow. Four euros. Interesting. This one is interesting. Some spider plants for four euros. Well, I like this one. Look how interesting this one looks. So cute. Have some Tsuropigias or string of hearts for seven euros. That sounds like a decent basket. Actually, the prices are not so bad on plants here. Look at this petonias. Ooh, the color in this one. This one is definitely my favorite from all of these colors for 4 euros. Kind of nice. This one definitely says Christmas. Look at this bloom. Look at her. Looks like a tiny bell. Oh, These ones are 4 euros. So sweet. Oh my gosh. Perfect Christmas plant. Wow. That's cute. More spider plants, more succulents. Oh, and my favorite part to go through all of this cute little cactus that once again are just struggling in the darkness. Look at that. It's dark as butthole in there. So cute. Some of them tend to have some cooler cactus inside, like astrophytums, for example, but it's pretty rare find, so sometimes I like to play like a lotto and go through them and see what they offer. Let's have more in this side. And once again, in the darkness. That is so sad. Oh no, we have some mealies. Uh-oh. Okay, from that side, we have some bigger ones. Oh, this. This Dracaena looks so cool. Wow. Okay, we have some bigger cacti. Nothing too interesting, to be honest. Very casual ones. Yeah, nothing speaks to me today. These ones are actually for... I'm not sure. Oh, six euros. Okay. We have lots and lots of English ivies. <gasps> oh, shizzle. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just found a dragon scale alocasia. I haven't seen this one in person for such a long time. I mean, it's not the healthiest one. Look at those colors! It's dragon scale allocation. It's dragon plant. Oh. Do you see more? Do you see more? Where are the price? Oh, we have more allocations. This one's are Amazonicas for 13 euros. We also have some beautiful aglonimos. Only 12 euros, guys. Look at the size of the spot. This is awesome. Some, oh my gosh, bigger than Severus for 25 euros. These moonshines are humongous. Isn't that like a perfect centerpiece somewhere in your home? Oh yeah, we have hiding strelitzia in there. Okay, we have more succulents, more English ivies. Oh, this is an Espedistro actually, also an interesting find. Wow, very beautiful plant. This is actually so tolerant for low light. And I love that it's all in this nice, beautiful black pot. That's cool. 23 euros. <gasps> that allocation? Is that allocation for only $7.99? <gasps> it is. Can we buy it? So, is it variegated one? Fuck off. Look at that speckle. It looks like it's poured variegated allocation. <laughs> Shut up. What? What? What is happening? Do you see that speckle? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you fluffing kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it for a little bit. We have some more cool Ascensiveria slash Dracinos for 9 euros. More 
larger cacti, but these ones are actually not speaking to me as well. Pretty simple one. Some small babies as well. And look at all those cute phalaenopsis. Seven euros. That is actually a nice price. Yeah, that's about it guys. We have some cute terrariums with very different plants. Uh, Coffee Arabicus, Syngoniums, Colateas, Ctenantes and stuff like that. Some Dracenas, Peperomia. Oh look at this chunky boys. Guys, I cannot believe I found this dragon scale location for $7.99. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We also have a lot of large plants in here. These ones looks interesting. I mean, this pattern on the leaves, it looks like a virus maybe, or maybe some pest affection, because it doesn't look too well. 30 euros. Kind of cool. These palms are so awesome. I'm always such a big fan of Camaerops humilis. 30 euros, guys. 30 euros. And this is a pretty decent size of a palm. That's cool. Lots of ficuses. Look at this! Ficus bengalinensis for only 43 euros. And look at the size of this beast. Oh my gosh, do you remember the times when there used to be like hundreds and hundreds of euros? This is wild. I feel like IKEA always, always have those coconuts for 16 euros. Kind of cool. And lastly, some cool strelitias for 45 euros. But guys, they're humongous. They're flipping humongous for sure. Wow. Wow. Guys, I cannot believe I just found this awesome location. It was the last one on the shelf, so probably people decided not to get this one because some leaves did not look too well. For example, this one. But I see such so much potential in this plant. There's also three plants in this spot. I bet there are so many more like corms in it. So, oh, you can bet this baby is coming home with me. I actually had this one about a couple of years ago. I bought it from a local house plant store for about 25 euros or 30 euros. 7 euros, 7.99. And we also found the shelf. Oh my gosh, what a good day. later the next morning I still was in the little town the wind unto the hearts of Hero Said we thrown it out among the band of coal that we're given Have you thought of me on grass he made our grass of heaven A little love, a little love, a little love A little love Alright guys, I'll be completely honest, it's another day, yesterday was so busy, it's been, it, I mean it took me a lot to just put this shelf together, I actually filmed a little sneak peek together with Baloo while my fiancé was on a walk with Yakari, so a little sneak peek of how everything is looking, but 
I do plan to film a plan tour whenever we have a sunny day because right now you cannot see a damn thing. I am working with like so many lights right now so you, you will be able to see what the heck am I showing you and what the heck will I will be doing. So, <laughs> so let's just keep that shelf for the future. You will see how I put everything together. I mean, of course, it's still kind of half empty, half filled. So a lot of potential. I'm so excited about this choice. But I am more excited about this baby. Oh, I am so stoked, guys. I'll be honest, I was on a look for Allocation Dragon Scale for almost a month, about three weeks. And I could not find it anywhere for the life of me. I mean, here locally, I did not want to go ahead and buy it online. Because right now we have a pretty cold night and day. So I did not felt like it's a perfect plan to work with shipping. So of course, I wanted to go ahead and look for one in person. <laughs> I was so excited to find one in IKEA, you have no idea. And not only that, this baby has some sport variegation on it. So, I mean, not only it was the last one that I want to believe was waiting for me, it also is variegated. So I'm so excited. Maybe if I'll blast it with more light. Oh my gosh, it's leaking. So I want to believe that maybe if I'll blast it with more sunlight or slash more grow lights, maybe it will give me more variegation. I mean, of course, it's like not 100%, but it's worth a try. Why the heck not? It looks a bit bit up. Uh, some of the leaves seen some uh, like technical damage, what is called like physical damage, right? This particular leaf is very curious for me, very suspicious because uh, this kind of leaf grow when there are some kind of pests, but I gave it a really nice look. It seems to be completely fine. So what I want to do today, since it's already one day in my home, I feel it's adapted a bit, but I want to immediately repot it, check for the roots, maybe find some corms. I prepared all of the mosses, repotting mats and stuff like that. So for the other half of this video, we're going to be repotting it and looking inside and at the same time chatting about, you know, stuff. <laughs> stuff. By the way, how does this angle look? I'm not sure. I'm trying to work with the lights because if you know my space, this filming space, it's really, really narrow. I cannot even stretch my hands all the way up. So it's a pretty small space. So let's just work with this. And hopefully the lighting doesn't suck. <laughs> anyway, let's unbox, unbox, let's unpot it, see what we have inside and pot it up back together into another pot. And also actually so exciting, my fiance like 10 minutes ago, came back from the walk with Yakari, our German Shepherd, and he came back home with the houseplant rescue. Can you imagine that? A little sneak peek for you, <laughs> like a little like spoiler for the future videos on my channel. So of course, subscribe if you want to see more plant rescue missions, if you want to see more plenty content. I also bought a pretty cool and special plant oh, yesterday. Yesterday was a very special plenty like day. I, I bought a plant shelf. I got two very cool, very cool plants and I'm, I'm excited, I'm stoked. So right now, you know what? Enough seeing my gorgeous face. <laughs> Just kidding. Enough seeing my face. Let me put you a little bit lower so we will focus on the plant. <sighs> oh guys, if only you could see the crazy setup I have right here. Half of my plants are holding my lights. <laughs> anyway, okay. So you still can see a bit of myself. You're welcome. Let's go straight into unpotting this because yeah, the soil mix doesn't look too well in here. So I just want to take it out. Plus it seems to have some roots peeking through the bottom. So I want to believe it's ready for a bit bigger. Oh yes, <laughs> it's definitely ready for a bit bigger pot. Look at this guys. Oh, I hope there are some corms in here as well. I would love to experiment a bit. Okay. Okay. Bam. Oh, this is so exciting. You are so cute. That baby is very cute too. Oh, and I can see some corms. Yes. Okay. So, of course, if you've been longer on my channel, you know, I hate to disturb roots too much but at the same time this soil mix looks so yucky i'll be honest ikea doesn't do well with soil mixes so let's see let's see what we're gonna do with this one that baby allocation stem is kind of chunky pretty chunky if i say so myself that's cool that is cool. oh my gosh what do i do at first i actually thought maybe to plant it into pond 
because why not but then i noticed that i don't have any see-through pots so we're going with the soil mix this time you know what you know what let's just do it let's just do it and all acacias can be pretty pretty tricky with repotting so i do not want to stress it too much trying to be as gentle but at the same time let's just go for it by the way guys have you noticed that i tried my hands like tipped my toes into reels have you noticed my two reels that i uploaded on my instagram here on youtube as well like youtube short i'm so nervous i don't know why i've been filming youtube videos for years right now i mean i'm not sure how many years though maybe three four four maybe it feels like i'm doing something very very new whenever i'm filming a reel or a youtube short so i do hope you love it so root brown i mean technically the roots were growing all around the pot like uh, shape but the inside is completely empty and it's very moist so i just want to work my way through there i also don't want to miss any worms oh it actually smells not so nice Okay, you know what, I guess we won't be having any quorms because the deeper I go, the more roots I break and I cannot find a flipping damn quorm. So, probably just gonna plant it as it is. Maybe in the future we will find some quorms. I mean, there is this one baby. But I don't feel any quorm here so maybe it's like a shoot like a stem shoot so you know what this is what we're gonna be left with the inside is kind of empty i feel oh, i feel like i already disturbed this plant too much okay 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 bam so this is the old pot i wanted to go with the black pot because i just loved how beautiful it looks i already prepared some dishes for the worms that unfortunately won't be needed but anywho i want to go with the black pot once again because i feel like this contrast with those beautiful leaves is gonna be perfect so what i have right now i have some orchid barks some pure light and i wanna add some soil mix This soil mix will be a little bit more airy and I want to believe more parts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Mess is happening. This soil mix will be a little bit more light and airy and I want to believe this is what will help these plants to stay alive in my home. Because during the winter months I tend to overwater my plants. So let's hope this will work. Oof, that's very dusty probably need it to, to spray this mix a bit before planting that allocation okay gorgeous baby oh yeah this is gonna be a perfect a pot maybe even a bit too big but you know what this should work i'm just gonna need to be very careful with my watering bam okay you know what <laughs> Let's do it like that. Okay. Right now I feel a bit guilty by disturbing so many roots on this baby. But hopefully it will appreciate the new mix and then it will bounce back like no tomorrow. Bam. already so good so good oh my gosh i'm so excited to finally have an alocasia dragon scale again hopefully this time will be a little bit more successful i feel like i have way more experience right now with alocasias and aroids so because i had that last one alocasia maybe two years ago and i want to believe this last couple of years were the ones when i learned like the most about aroids 
because my collection was just growing and growing and just kept on growing which I of course love and appreciate I've been on an alocasia kick actually lately and I'm not sure where is that coming from but I want another one I want a, an alocasia black velvet I want alocasia um, you know that one that looks like grayish and the leaves looks like turtles shells I don't remember the name I'll put it on the screen oh but these ones are just calling my name so much lately so of course when I saw a dragon scale that was like my top wish list alocasia ever ever lately I'm just I feel so lucky and stoked I'm so happy look at this okay so right now what I'm gonna do with this baby since it's all look at this look at this so cute so right now what I'm gonna do with it, I will take it to the shower, give it a nice, nice rinse, clean the leaves, clean the... Oh my goodness, look at this. Yep, stuff happened. Okay, you know what? Let me put you a little bit up so you can chew my face again. Ah, mess. Okay, okay. No worries, no worries, no worries. No worries. Oop. Dang it. Can you see me guys? Scream yes if you do. Huh? You okay? <laughs> Are you okay, guys? <laughs> All right, and we are done with this awesome looking alocasia. Oh my gosh, these leaves are just, oh, they're so speaking to me right now. Looking so spooky. Oh, with the colors, everything. I mean, right now, of course, since we do not have sunlight, the colors doesn't look that awesome and cool. But you know what? Love it. Let me put it right here with the least beautiful leaf in your face. Of course not. Like this. I mean, you probably cannot see, I think. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I had a blast. Actually, right now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, sorry. Just don't move. <laughs> Actually, right now I'm planning to go ahead and film another video for you because I have, just like I mentioned, a pretty cool dinosaur plant because it feels like it's been growing in the very same pot for maybe 10 years or so so i mean it's a private collector plant that i bought yesterday for the extremely cheap but extremely sweet story so all in that maybe i'm gonna be filming right now since i have all of that setup so you know what prepare for the future videos i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did leave any kind of lizard emojis and i'll know that you watch till the very end and maybe dragons, maybe lizards, maybe snakes, whatever speaks to you, whatever reptiles are you thinking. Let's leave for this beautiful Alocasia. Oh, what a cute plant. Cannot give you an update on this one because, oh yeah, it's so sexy. <laughs> okay, okay, <clears throat> let's get serious. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Of course, before leaving, I will teach you another language lesson. But if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe from my channel to see more plenty of content, please. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, another language lesson. What should we do? You know what? Since we have a dragon scale uh, allocation, let me teach you how to say dragon in Lithuanian and in Russian. Maybe we'll need it. <laughs> like, why would you? But anyway, if you want to say dragon in Lithuanian, you need to say draconus. Once again, draconus. And if you want to say dragon in Russian, you need to say Dracon. Once again, Dracon. This is it. Actually, the next year is Dragon. Not in Chinese. I'm not sure about Chinese, but here in the other part of the world, like here. <laughs> it's gonna be a Dragon year, so this seems like a pretty fitting purchase for the upcoming year. Oh, so cute. I just cannot. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next